Hello everyone, that's Ayn over here, as you always know, you like my videos, you can like them, but I'm also subscribing one of the guys on the screen, so let's begin with this video, as you know, I'm doing the Raidbox videos first, before we delve into the simulation graph and this is thing, I did the video about QuickSim just before, and now let's do the one about, in this case, Droptimizer. Droptimizer is something that is available in Raidbots. It's really, really useful for things when you already know what setup you are going to use and how to choose gear. Most of the QuickSim things are just to know more or less where you are in the DPS place, let's say. And now this delves deeper into the way we want to use this tool, Raidbots in itself. We want to know which gear it's an upgrade. Of course, as you know, this can change when we do changes in the APL or if you get some talents that are different than others. But most of the time, this will be one of the tools that you may use more easily, apart from Top Gear, that will be quite long. But now here you can see we have different sources where you, we, we can get the gear and we can, of course, select always max upgrades or no upgrades or half upgrades here you can see and of course different places where we get the gear here we have Averroes, then dragon isles mythic plus dungeons normal dungeons down of the infinite as you know base fashion dungeon then we have the pvp things dream surges catalyst professions that is also quite useful to know which one is the best for you and then time reads at the end for us most of the time now in my case i already have a build here then i did two different ones so you can check how things can change of course if there's an item that is better than others it will recommend that item for you and remember this takes the current loadout you loaded in the Simulation craft add-on. As I always tell you, you need to go inside the game, get the simulation craft add-on and type a slash sign C and you get your string. You copy that and you come here and paste it here. You can also import from Armory, but I don't really recommend it because it can get weird. So uh, from here, for example, now I have this and then I did two of them. One, one is this and the other one is this. Let's click on numbers that they are really easier to understand. And now you can see here that we have a big, big number, right? And here too. Why is that? Because here I, I'm using the Neltharian Skull to Suffering and it's the heroic version, not even the mythic one. That means that it's a weaker trinket than in this case, the Dragonfire Bomb Dispenser or the Elementium Pocket Ambil. Now, in this other one, of course, I used the Dragonfire Bomb Dispenser, so the DPS that I could gain is less. That means, remember, it's really important that you equip the best gear that you have. You can do a top gear sim before. I will explain that in another video or a quick sim to know which one is the best for you. And then you will get all of this information. In this case, it's already ranking bosses for the best. What does it mean? The most DPS. In this case, because I'm using a heroic chest and things like that, it recommends me a curio, because here, from here we can get a curio, and we just catalyze things or use the curio to get those things. As you can see also here, we have the shoulders that are 450 that we can get from the curio then the gloves etc etc and of course this is the one where i already have my bomb dispenser even if it's the heroic one same as the beacon to beyond we can get some dps from here now if you want to go to the downwards part you can see your baseline this is what you seem without the upgrades and then here you can see some little upgrades here and there as it goes up and the same thing here so now here you will see trinkets that are really strong 
powers because I'm using a weaker trinket. Of course, this build also does not, ben does not benefit a lot from the new target's call to suffering. So, it also makes it weaker. If I was running a build that used the, for example, a longer shadow dance and other things, the new target's call to suffering would be almost the same as this beacon to the beyond. A little bit closer, you can see here that it's almost the same too. But that will be that. So that is the short explanation. And now let's delve a little bit deeper. Why are we using this drop optimizer? This is to kind of know which bosses are the best. So we can short in this case for priority. This means that if I wanted the most power that I could get, I will want to do Skarn to get the Dragonfire Bomb Dispenser in Mythic. And he also drops a cool cloak that we could get here. It's, it's almost the same stats are the cloak that we get from Rising. He also drops some boots that we may use in the in the next patch and things like that. Important, Sarkarev, of course, drops his cloak that is really strong. And we can, of course, get a second 450 weapon instead of my mutilator or the craft that we want to use. Now, this works for the priority. You can also put in both order. So you can see here a uh, fast overview. And for example, if you want, if you know you are only going to kill the first three bosses, you can see here the value. And now, expected value, as you know, is kind of what you can get from from each boss in total. Here you have the one that will give you the most, kind of. Here you have the most priority, as you can see. So now that will be almost everything here. And as you know, this will change and vary from spec to spec and from many other things. Now that will be the great one. But remember, not only raid things we can choose in the drop optimizer, we can also check Mythic Plus Dungeons, but there's one caveat here. If you want to get all the dungeons or more than one, you will have to get premium. Of course, getting premium is not a super difficult thing to do. It's not that pricey, but for, for things like that, I'm not going to use premium here. And for example, dungeons, you will check and it will tell you the items that you want to put here. Of course, you can also select what you can do. You want the plus 20 vault, that means doing the dungeons in the vault, or you can just get it at the max upgrades that it's here. It's 441 right now. You can also put the 431, that is the baseline for items that are on the heroic set of tier, the hero, and everything else. Ten of the infinites can also be important for some people because they're mirrored or fractures tomorrows or in their own case, nick of time. It's really, really good. They are sunglasses, it's also not that bad for most people. So that would be the thing that you would use this tool for. Now, I will see you in the next video.